hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to the awaited video of uh, god of war ragnarok fsr 3 slash dlss 3 uh, first let me tell that this is going to be a little bit different this video was a little bit tricky to make the mod work so do not skip the video even not for a bit also there is construction going in my house so yeah try to ignore that uh, sound in the background so yeah let's begin this video without any delay so first we will need this zip and uh, there is much work to be needed and after pasting the files and everything so yeah do not skip again i'm telling you so after uh, pasting the zip i mean extracting the zip uh, we're gonna go to the installation directory of the game and we're gonna paste these files only and uh, only paste this as the name suggests paste if can't see dlss so yeah paste this if you only can't see dlss but uh, for general users this should be enough so yeah after uh, pasting all these files uh, we will need to enable the driver signature override which is here now in case if the enable signature override doesn't work your game crash or if you cannot see the dlss you can also try the dlss uh, sorry the disable override so yeah try both uh, but by default enable driver signature should work all right uh, now what we need to do is uh, first run the game and close the cmd window as it pops up and after that uh, we will go to the uniscalar config.tml open it with uh, notepad or notepad plus plus i'm using notepad plus uh, plus now in here you will see upscaler uh, all you need to do is set the dash one because this game uses the upscaler fsr3 uh, and the frame generator fsr3 and this mod so yeah we need to set this to 3.1 now for some user you can use the frame generator to 3.1 but uh, if you face crash you can just delete it and use to fsr 3 so yeah but for safekeeping uh, first use fsr 3 in both upscaler and frame generator and see if it works or not uh, then save it now again uh, if you face any kind of crashing issue we will need to really delete the user config which uh, will be in your c directory then user in here you will see admin or administrator uh, only one for you so you wanna go inside admin then saved games then god of War ragnarok 6144 and in here you will see user preference uh, file so all you need to do select and delete it uh, because this file is from your previous session when you did not apply the mod and after applying the mod it will create a new file so yeah they just mess up with each other so that's why for safekeeping we are just deleting it so yeah now we're gonna go back inside the game and do not skip i will tell you how to make the mod work or if you go inside the game uh, you will see that the mod is not working so yeah let's dive into the game now star wars outlaws offline activation starting at just 400 indian rupees Kong at just 350 rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry but, uh, we are back inside the game and uh, you can see fps is now uh, around 170 uh, basically without the mod uh, i am getting only around maybe 70 or 80 uh, let me turn off the frame generation so one more thing is when you switch this frame generation from uh, one mode to off or another mode uh, the game will maybe stuck for 5 to 10 seconds so yeah now you can see it's around only 50 and 60 fps so when i turn this to the dlss fg like fsr now and wait for a few seconds the setting is not responding yet you can see my mouse is the menu is not responding to my mouse movements yeah it's working in the background so yeah now it's working and after uh, fg uh, fsr fg we will switch to dlss fg and wait for a few seconds like you click on this arrow and wait for a few seconds don't do anything okay now it's set to dlss fg we're gonna go back inside the um, game now now in here if you press escape once uh, you will see it's not responding so you need to wait here too like you need to wait 10 to 15 seconds after pressing each key now we have set the dlss fg but FS fps is still around the same like 60 70 so what we need to do is pause one 
and then go back to the game again and now you can see the frame generation is working so yeah it's a little bit tricky to make it work but it's working and now you can see there is no uh, ghosting around the character or no hood flickering but if you need to notice closely enough you can see at the left or right side of the screen there is a very little uh, flickering type of thing going on maybe i'll try to zoom in uh, but yeah it's not very much um, but yeah still there if some update comes on uh, if i made uh, if i able to fix that issue then i will update it in the description or maybe made a new video about that but yeah for now uh, this mod is working fine like uh, you can check to the setting it's right now on dlss fg with dlss quality you can use either of the upscaler too and yeah it's totally working fine so yeah this will be it for this video now it uh, took me a lot of work to make this video if you found this video well, helpful please you. consider subscribing to the channel Thank for more like this uh, if you are facing issue comment down below or join discuss for more details uh, and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers